We're in Florida. We're in Maryland. Whenever you're on a road trip and you see these. In the car, started to drive away. I'm like, where's my phone? Jim is ping pong. I'm in the semi final. today I had a great day I did work of course I edited and did all the things I need to do for uh, for you guys um, but then I had a great dinner with my friends went for a walk with Lori and Joy and then had dinner with them and it was so great so it's really really fun to visit home um, the house looks great Mike and I did some landscaping we're oh you know what I never showed you guys I never showed you the end there he is right there hi Michael John it is another day I wish to excel. It's good to see you. Let me show you guys. I never finished. Not that it's that amazing, but it just makes me happy because it's just a little bit neater and cleaner than it was before. So take a peek. Oops. All right. So if you remember last, maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we were here. I can't remember. And we put in, or I put in these um, boxwoods. I'm going to have to trim them up, but I'm, I really don't want to cut them now. I'm, it makes me nervous. I want them to... Um, to establish their root system first before we do that. And then we put these mums in and they have since bloomed. I did a little bit of weeding and stuff over here. That needs mulch something bad, but I'll probably do that the next time I come up. Well, maybe not, we're heading into the winter, so probably not. And then I moved this little geranium over there. I thought he looked cute there. I'm trying to plan a time that, the, that we can all come back. And I just don't know if it's going to be this fall. It'll probably, hopefully for Christmas, we'll get a chance to come back. The kids really want to come back for Christmas. So we're going to try to do that. And then maybe um, their spring break is different than the spring break for the kids here. So if they come back, now Brennan's friends and Katie's friends probably won't be here, but Ryan's friends would be here. So anyway, try to figure all that out. I went to the dentist today, got my teeth cleaned. So I'm going to go ahead and um, finish up some stuff here and get ready to go. Florida, so you know what that means. You already know where we are. The big P. The oh, big please. P, baby. Uh, we just all went out and hung out, went and hung out at Maddie's house. We had a little bonfire, watched some uh, Thursday night football, and now, so this is Dylan, that's Tommy. Okay, so Tommy and Dylan are on the football team, and y'all are, they're taking a bus to like this away game, and we're getting snacks and pub subs, because that's what you do. Tommy, what did you get? Cheese it Okay, pub sub, pub sub, cheese -its. bites, cheese its, and what? Why'd air you get an air freshener? My car. For your car? Yeah. It's so weird. Dylan, what you got? Oh, I got pub sub, some cheese its, some starburst oh, minis, those you know, are gas. and some airhead extremes. <laughs> that yeah. actually is insane. That after bus ride home is hitting. Different. It's gonna be insane. Let me put y'all on to the best road trip snack there is. They're addicting, like addictingly good. Oh my gosh, you're insane. Whenever you're on a road trip and you see these, cop immediately. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, I gotta head home. It's school night, so we're gonna head home. And tomorrow, these boys are gonna be on a bus, and I'm giving blood. We're gonna beat which Lyman. Which is an adventure. We're gonna beat Lyman. Beat Lyman. Word. Peace. And you guys are on the plane and ready to take off, ready to go home. I'm excited to get back home. I feel like we've been traveling. Travel and when we get home, though, we travel tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to the movie and her parents. Do you anything to say, Mike? airport and um, it closes like I think we were the last flight so now we're back at the airport looking to see where I walked if I would have dropped it while I was walking 
and all of tonight's vlog is on there. <laughs> so if you get this video and it went straight from, I don't know, being at home, hopefully that went up to iCloud, I have no idea. So we're looking, we're looking to see if my phone, all right, so stay tuned. We're gonna try to go in and see if maybe they have it at Lost and Found. All right, you guys, so we came to the airport, as you know, I went inside, I asked the people at Southwest, they hadn't found anything. The, the policemen were like, hey, what do you got going on? And so I was like, I know I had it on the plane, but I haven't seen it since. There were three policemen asked all kinds of questions. One gets in a golf cart and goes to the parking lot. Another one goes up to the terminal. This, we were the last flight in, so the airport's closed. One gets goes up to the, um, the terminal to see if they can find it. And then another one's like, okay, I'll wait right here to play play point. So Mike and I are looking all through the car, the car. It's been about not even 10 minutes. All of a sudden, another policeman's like, hey, hey, they found it. I guess they radioed. They found it. So the guy in the golf cart went and found it in the Shut parking up. lot. Yes. Can you believe it? it fell out in the parking lot? That's oh my crazy. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to buy him Starbucks or something. Right. Oh this my way. Should gosh. we tip him or something? What should we do? I don't know. Can you tip a policeman? I would love to. I don't think they can take it. What they could probably take gift cards. They were super nice. They were super nice. So I'm so excited. Yes. Oh my gosh. And I'm yeah. so relieved that we realized it then and right. turned around. Do you know what I mean? Totally. Oh my gosh. All right. Here well, he comes. I can see his golf cart. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fast golf cart. It is. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Thank you guys. Really, really appreciate you. Thank you. That's great. So great. Woo! Yay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And now you guys get a video tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Got my phone back. We're totally munching a McDonald's fries. Which I will tell you, I am not, I'm not anti-McDonald's, but I'm definitely not a McDonald's person. But right now, it's 11.30 at night, and I am, we've been flying, and blah, blah, blah. This is really good. <laughs> really good. Not much of a plate menu. No. No. They don't serve a lot of food on the plate. Mm -hmm. Not even. Now this is good, though. They should serve McDonald's, huh? Can you imagine if they serve McDonald's fries? Ew, the plane would smell disgusting. Did they? Oh my gosh, if it was McDonald's. Can you imagine flying and fried? You'd fly and fried. <laughs> That'd be disgusting. I think a lot of people pay for extra for that. Oh my gosh, I would not. I would. Can I fly in salad, please? <laughs> That's what I would All fly. the salad people go, boy, it smells good over in the fry section. <laughs> for about five minutes. And they'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I could have one thing on the plane, though. Well, I'd have a charcuterie, that's number one. But wouldn't it be fun if they had an ice cream machine? You just go up and self-serve your own ice cream. On the plane? Uh-huh. Now that's a good Is that idea. a good idea? I bet you people would find the plane just for that. Yeah. That's like uh, a hook. Did you want pretzels or a large ice cream? Did you want... I have a, can I have a twist, please, with sprinkles? Did you want rainbow sprinkles? Or and then you're sprinkles? eating your soft serve, and the plane goes like this, and you get it like on your nose. <laughs> and everybody getting off, he's like, yeah. It was turbulent fun. <laughs> exactly. There's like ice cream everywhere. <laughs> All right, we're almost home. Thank goodness. What if they grilled snakes? They should grill steaks on plus. <laughs> that way. Uh, you too. Ryan's home. Ryan's home. Well, we're home. Well, Ryan's staying home. home. <laughs> here would you like some french fries? I would love some french fries. You see this? Like french fries. Oh, oh my the french gosh. Fries. Eat the french fries. There we go. Ooh. Why would you? It's what? nice to have. Yeah. Oh, Mike, you should have a big pile of french fries. Right? Yeah. Watch. Watch. It's so oh, I'm say less. Dad got an apple pie. I'm not supposed to do it. Right? Mm -hmm. You get two? Yeah. Which is not very nice. Yeah, what's up with that? Mm hmm. Anyway. Yeah. I'm here for a minute. Um, today, we went over to Maddie's, and then we went, and the boys wanted pub subs, which are public subs, oh. which apparently are insane. Mm, I've heard. Okay. And they're like a Florida staple. We haven't had them yet. We need to try them. We, well, maybe we'll get them on the way up to FSU tomorrow. <gasps> Bam. All right. Are we leaving tomorrow? We're picking up from school. Oh, yeah. You gotta pack. Hmm. The boys are gonna all try to go to the beach tomorrow. Oh. The beach? What, after school? I mean, you can stay here if you want. No. 
<clears throat> because, wait, what time are we leaving on Sunday? Noon? One? Oh. Can we leave at like four? In the afternoon? Yeah, why? Game? Really? Yeah. I don't mind staying there. Brandon has Sunday ticket, and the <laughs> Chargers play the Jags at one. And, um. You guys should watch that game together. That's it's good. either Josh or Brett or Gabe. There's so many. Yeah. Kids. But. Huge Jags fan. He's from. Oh, Jackson. right. Yes, I think it's Gabe. So we're going to trash talk him while we. Oh, oh that'll be fun. Yeah. You talked to Brennan about that. Uh huh. I talked to him on the phone earlier. Um, Browns just beat the Steelers on Thursday Night Football. Oh, Michael, you had the Browns. Uh, it was a good game. Oh, you didn't have the Browns. Mm. So, that's from Dave. Yeah. Good boy. Nice. Also, <laughs> I have Nick Chubb and Najee Harris in fantasy. Whatever Anyways. that means. Whatever that means. What made you happy today, Rye Guy? See my friends. Yeah? Yeah. We've also started in gym. There's basically three things you can do. They have volleyball nets set up. They have basketball hoops and basketballs. And they have three ping pong tables and like paddles and balls. So we started with volleyball and then we like played knockout and now we're on the ping pong. And I'm low key cooking everyone. Oh, really? Who knew you were a good ping pong player? So, well, I did. Oh, sorry. Um, anyway, uh, we were like, we got. <coughs> Gym is ping pong? <laughs> yeah, there's ping pong tables. That's the gym. most physical activity. As a matter of fact, it's actually called team sports, but he plays ping pong. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> right? Isn't the class called team sports? I think you should be exerting yourself some way. He doesn't even change clothes. They don't I mean, sweat. Do you sweat playing uh, ping pong? I don't think so. Jeez. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, in championships they After don't. a long game of ping pong, are you sore? <laughs> All right. I was not going to get into the physical strain of the sport, but... I've been cooking everyone, and everyone in that class. Ping that pong is not a sport. Okay, everyone that I hit, hang out with in that class is super competitive, so we ended up making a bracket. Oh, nice! And then we played the whole tournament. Oh, uh, today? Over one day, and okay. I won. Oh my gosh! Are you serious? Which was two days ago. And then yes, or yeah, and then no, which is I don't know. <laughs> and then we made we made another bracket yesterday, mm -hmm. and then we played the first set of games today. I'm in the semifinals right now. Good for you. I'm Good luck. To, trying to go to That sounds game. fantastic. Yeah. I hope you make it. What made you happy today, Mikey? <laughs> well, that's a good question. Thank you for asking. What mm -hmm. made me happy today was a very successful trip, great work, and uh, for my and happy for my clients, and happy to spend time with you, Julie. Thank you. Me this too. does not make me happy. Ryan, did you know we had a dishwasher? Hey, Ryan, Come this on, is the man. dishwasher. Dishwasher, this is Ryan. These are dirty dishes. That's they what belong made me angry today. in the dishwasher. Oh, and you even, he texted me. I remember, he's like, is the dishwasher clean? And I said, yes. Because there's something I needed out of it. Oh, my gosh. You didn't even think to empty it <coughs> and put the new dishes in it. I'm oh, a busy ahead. guy, Ma. Oh, oh, yes, exactly. One more thing. You find your phone. Thank you. That, you're off your phone. Oh, my gosh. Ryan, it was a big, big ordeal. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Yes, definitely what made me happy today was getting home safely, of course. Finding my phone. Those police officers at the airport were amazing. That was thank so you, great. Yeah, thank you. And we had a really good blackened shrimp taco oh <laughs> at the airport. Holy cow, were they good. So you guys, thank you so much. Oh, and Katie. Katie had good news today too, which hopefully she's sharing with you. But if not, we'll share it a different day. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.